Hello everyone, Ezra here, and I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm going to read you a fun book. It's called People, written and illustrated by people by Peter Spear. It's a book all about people and cultures around the world, and I hope you enjoy this one. People, written and illustrated by Peter Spear. We all know that there are lots and lots of people in the world, and many more millions each year. There are now over 4 billion human beings on Earth. And if it takes you an hour to finish looking at this book, there will be over 4,000 more. By the year 2000, there will be 6 billion people on Earth. If we all joined hands, the line would be 3,805,871 miles long and would stretch 153 times around the equator, or 16 times the distance to the moon, more than... Four million people, and no two of them alike. Each and every one is, of us is different from all the others. Each one is a unique individual in his, in his or her own right. We come in all sizes and shapes, tall, short, and in between. But without a single exception, we all begin quite small. We and we come in many colors. And our eyes, even our eyes, have different shapes and colors. And noses come in every shape imaginable. So do faces, lips, and ears, and everything else. Think about our hair. From snow white to pitch black, straight, curly, kinky, and wavy, and a lot of people have no hair at all. People are funny. Some with straight hair want theirs to be wavy, and others with their curls want theirs to be straight. People around our world wear different clothes, or none at all. All of us want to look our best. Still, what is considered beautiful or handsome is, in one place, considered ugly and even ridiculous elsewhere. Some of us are wise. Some of us are foolish. But most of us are somewhere in between. Most people are decent, honest, friendly, and meaning, but some are none of these. Some of us love noise, whereas others simply cannot stand it. And not everybody's idea of a good time is alike. People everywhere love to play, but not the same games everywhere. Our tastes are as different as day is from night.
The homes we build are as varied as we are, but we all need a roof over our heads. What makes some people laugh makes others cry. Some of us excel things others could never do. Many of us like doing things with others, while some like being by themselves. We love and keep all sorts of pets. And we celebrate different feasts and holidays. And the things we like to eat are not the same. What people in one place consider a del delicacy, others would never touch, let alone eat. And the other foods and some people eat or drink are forbidden to others. We practice nine main religions, and there are thousands of others as well. Many people believe in one God, and millions of others believe in many gods. And many millions more do not believe in anything at all. Most of us have to work for a living, and there are more different ways of doing that than you would believe. Most people work hard, but others are lazy. And a lot of people who want to work cannot find a job. And some of us are rich, although most of us are, most are not, and many are desperately poor. Almost everybody can speak, but there are 201 different main languages spoken on Earth, not to mention the countless variants in dialects spoken by smaller groups. And deaf people can communicate in silence, though in sign language. Not nearly all the world's people can read and write, yet there are almost 100 different ways of doing it. Some people, but very few, are mighty and powerful, although most of us are not mighty at all. We have invented a strange system of ranks, grades, and classes. Yet we all live on the same planet, breathe the same air, and warm ourselves the same sun. And in the end, we must die. A few of us are remembered long after we're gone, and even that in countless different ways. Four billion human beings, young and old, sick and well, happy and unhappy, kind and unkind, strong and weak, people everywhere and all different. It is very strange. Some people hate others because they are unlike themselves, because they are different. They forget that they are 
they would they too would seem different if they couldn't only see themselves through other people's eyes. But imagine how dreadfully dull this world of ours would be if everybody would look, think, and eat, dress, and act the same. Now isn't it wonderful that each and every one of us is unlike any other? I hope you enjoyed that interesting book.